Fire and Rescue here in the studio to talk about what to do if you see an emergency vehicle out on the roads here. Any Dylan brought props today, so this is always <laughs> yes, exciting. Sir. This is why we love having you guys on, because you always bring props and you yeah. know, kind of show us ways that we can you know, be better in the community. So, That's Dylan, nice. what are we talking about today? Yeah, so what we really want to talk about is just like if you see one of us going code three in traffic, so that means we're going lights and sirens, yeah. uh, what's the appropriate way to react to us? Because we're really trying to minimize the amount of risk going on. And so the more we can do, like talking ahead of time, uh, the more accidents we can prevent. And so I think it's also important to note that like 99% of the time, people, they react incredibly. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, we, we talk about events like last night, you know, Nebraska being very unified. Uh, on LFR, we see that on almost a daily basis where people are getting the way, doing whatever they can to assist us. And so, uh, but there is that 1% of the times, you know, that we can yeah. do a little bit of work. And so, in that instance, I have two diagrams that I've brought with me. The first one, let's say we have two lanes of traffic and we're going the same direction. Uh, this would be like going down O Street. Right. So if this is us, this is, this is me, this, this is happy dog. Yeah, yeah, the dog right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. And uh, this is the driver. Uh, our, our driver's name is Josh. This is Josh up here. Okay. Uh, so if we're going down the road, we're, we're heading left, and we have two vehicles right here. Uh, what we would ask is that you keep the left lane open. And so in the process to do that, we ask that you just change on lanes so this way we can be a couple of happy dogs and uh, coming right through there. <laughs> And so, uh, now obviously there are instances where traffic is backed up. In those right. times, we, we understand, you know, we're, we're not trying to make anybody anxious. We're not trying to make anybody scared. We're not trying to say that we're mad at them. Um, but when you do hear, you know, those, those sirens, when you see those lights, uh, go ahead and start thinking through how can I safely get over for us? So, but yeah, that's situation number one. And that was kind of the easy one. Uh, so second instance though. We're moving around here. We are moving around and, and I'm kind of, I'm feeling the, the game day spirit, if you can't tell, with this chalk. Uh, yes, chalk, chalk. yes, red. Of course. <laughs> so let's say that we aren't um, on a convenient road. In this case, we're going like, like south, of, uh, south of O Street on 27th, yep. there between uh, O Street and Nebraska Parkway. Uh, we have instances like this, where we'll have one lane on the right going one direction, uh, the left the other way in the center we have our turning lanes. Uh, and this can be kind of a tricky one for a lot of people. Okay. Uh, but per the city of Lincoln's uh, traffic laws, uh, what we ask you all to do is if you're heading this direction and you see that we are approaching, go ahead and get as close to that curb as you possibly can. And in the opposite side, go ahead and do the same exact thing because what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to go down uh, that turning lane as best as we possibly can. And so I know a lot of times people like to put on their hazard lights as they slow down. That's always acceptable. And uh, the days when I'm driving the ambulance, I actually appreciate that because I know that they've seen us and that right. uh, they want to minimize that risk. That's going to be stressful driving that in the middle of you know, really <laughs> big rush hour traffic like right. it was, I'm sure, last night with the oh, Oscar Volleyball absolutely. match. It, it was a very busy day in Lincoln yeah. yesterday. Absolutely. Like I saw that, I think within the last 24 hours, so since 11 o'clock yesterday, uh, there's been about 97 calls for service in the city. <laughs> and so, uh, and once again, we are always happy to respond, but that makes for a pretty steady day too. Um, and then, of course, with the influx of 92,003 people moving around in the city, yeah. which is incredible, um, but that certainly adds some more volume to our workload, too. Well, we appreciate you taking the time to be here and explain oh, this very well. And, you know, good, jo good <laughs> job, you. dogs. Yeah, yes. ha happy dogs there. <laughs> Let's keep them happy and, you know, follow yeah, these absolutely. rules of the road here when you've got emergency vehicles out there. Perfect. Dylan, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you, and thank you to the public for always uh, helping keep us safe, too. All right, awesome. awesome. We'll be right back, everyone. Please stay with us.